Hey, welcome to my first re-recorded tutorial. Today we will make an effect like this. So, let's get started. We will be using whatever Blender version above 3.1. I will be using the newest Blender 3.4 Alpha, but you can use everything that's higher than 3.1 or 2 because of geometry nodes. First, we will be creating an icosphere. I will be subdividing it once, but that should be unrelevant. And then we can go into geometry nodes and we want to create a new node tree and we want to distribute distribute a lot of points on our sphere. How can we do this? With shift A, we can go into the add menu and here we can add new nodes. And here we can go into the points and distribute points on faces node. And with that, we can place points on our surface of our icosphere. And now I want to have other spheres on our points. So we need to instance on those points we've created. Now we want to put for every single point that we have created, we want to put an icosphere. And it is in the mesh primitives, the icosphere. We can plug it into the instance. And now we have an icosphere for every single point. But of course we have to scale it way down. And I want to also have randomized scale. So how can we do this? we have to use in the utilities the random value node. We can just plug it into the scale and then we can also higher up the distribute amount like this. And now let's move to the animation part of things. I want to have a ball rotating around around this thing and wherever this ball is will rise up. And so we will need another icosphere. Let's scale it down and bring it to our edge here. And I want to have a curve, a circle, and I want to have this icosphere follow our circle. And we can do that by using in constraint and follow path. And then we just have to use our curve here. And now our position gets resetted, why ever. Then we can just click on follow curve and animate path. And now it should be working. Now we also need our graph editor. And if we select our curve, we can actually make it way slower. So if we will go into the modifiers, then we can set here point one. And now it will be way slower, but maybe 0.3 is better like this. But now we want to have all those points only scale up in a certain distance near this ball. How can we do this? It's quite simple. So let's go in our geometry node tree and we have to use this scale. So how can we do this? First of all, we need the distance data from our icosphere here. So we just drag it into our node tree and set it to relative. So it takes the current position. And for that, we need the proximity node, geometry proximity node. And plug the geometry into the target. And now we have the distance from our icosphere here to our particles or point clouds. We have to mix. We have a new mix. We can also take the first one for a float. And I want to mix our random value with zero. And we can take the distance for that. And now you can see it's it's working. But now let's higher up the density. And we see there is not really a texture in it. So let's use also a texture to scale our points. So for this I will be using another mix node and I will be using the noise texture in here and I will use it now as a factor and of course a color ramp to higher up the contrast of our noise texture. This and of course it needs to be scaled down 
maybe something like that should work. And the last thing we want to do is we want to move our points in the normal direction and we can do that with a geometry set position node. So if we want to change the position of something, always use the set position node. And then we want to use our normal here into the offset. And we want to use a vector math node to control how much how much normal offset should be there. And we want to set our vector math node to scale and we want to use our result here. And now we want to create the camera movement. So let's create a camera. We set the rotation and the position and let's rotate it the z axis 190 then on the x minus 90 degree and then on the z also minus 90 and on the x 90 degree and now if we will look through this let's position it properly and i want to have the focal length at 30 and as we can see, the ball runs away. We don't want that. We want so that the camera follows the ball. So we click the camera, then we click the ball. The camera first and then the ball like this. And then we hit control and P and we can hit parent the object like this. And now the camera follows the ball. So the next thing we want to do is the material. So let's get into rendered mode and let's enable bloom. It will be very important for this tutorial. And we have to first create a new material and we have to assign this material to our geometry node tree. So we grab a set material node and we just use our material we've just created. Now here in our shader nodes. So let's first turn our background completely black and then we can turn off on the emission on our particles so they're not just so they're not particles they're spheres but it looks like particles and we want to have a random color for each of them so we will be using a new node that's in the input which is the point info where is it here point info node and here we have the random value so we just plug it into the emission and yeah sorry we don't use points we're using objects so we just take the object info node sorry and we plug it into there and now we got it and we can take a color ramp like this and we can assign color like this and a bluish color and this is basically the whole effect. Thank you all for watching. This was, as said, the first tutorial that I've recreated. See you later. Bye.